Now, Jimmy, uh, I had the pleasure of attending the Infocom 2014 trade show in Las Vegas, and this was attracting an awful lot of attention in the audio pavilion. Now, it's the uh, short QLXD, the uh, slightly cheaper and slightly less featured version of the predecessor ULXD. Can we talk about what's uh, what's changed between the two versions? You talk about ULXD like it's gone, which oh, it's, it's not. not. No. Um, this is, I guess, uh, the new line in the family, mm. uh, in, in the, the digital family. There's PGXD, GLXD, and both of those have fairly limited channel counts by comparison to ULXD which has a huge channel count mm. and this sits sort of in the middle of those two. Mm. Mm. Um, it, it is a bit cheaper as you say. Look visually if you look at say the belt pack transmitter or the handheld which I'm on mm. um, there is no apparent difference between mm. these and the ULXD transmitters uh, except that these limit at 10 milliwatt mm. uh, output. You can switch from 10 or 1 milliwatt whereas mm. ULXD, you get a 20 milliwatt option as well. Yeah, and it's uh, those kind of differences. They're all kind of in the detail as yeah, opposed to the major exactly, features. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So for instance, uh, we should talk about the other d differences as well, mm. which is uh, uh, dual and quad channel receivers in mm. ULXD. The QLXD series is only ever going to be a single channel receiver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, there's no Dante mm -hmm. on QLXD, so if that's the thing, it's probably not the best option. ULXD would still be a better choice. But if you're only running analog mm. um, and you don't need to control a whole lot of them, that's another thing. Uh, you can't address f uh, receivers over the Ethernet outside of the subnet that yeah. you're on. So yeah. there's no gateway setting in there, basically. Which really speaks to, to where this is headed. It's not for really huge networks, and it's not for lots and lots of units ganged together. It's not for um, massively distributed systems. It's for much smaller applications. Mm, exactly. So you, you lose features like the antenna cascading. Mm. But again, all of this comes at a more affordable price. Mm, mm. Um, uh, and for, for situations where you need to use a couple of units, you just rack them together and mm. you get an antenna splitter and you do it and it's no problem. Yeah, and it's got all those advantages of like really easy setup and uh, and the things like, I, I just love the charges. You know, yeah, yeah, charges. look, and, and the, it's worth noting that the charges for QLXD and ULXD are the same. There mm -hmm. are a couple of new charges as well mm -hmm. that have been added to the line. I think there's a USB charger from memory. Mm -hmm. um, so, so some good options as far as being able to, to you know, sort of not be turning over batteries every show. Mm -hmm. uh, you still get battery monitoring, you still get level monitoring, you've still mm -hmm. got encryption, you can still adjust your gain on here. Mm -hmm. uh, audio transmission wise, this is identical to ULXD. Mm -hmm. So it, it sounds just as, uh, every bit as good as ULXD yeah, does. Yeah, and that's, that's, a, that's saying a lot. Yeah, mm. exactly. Look, your main limitations really here are, are gonna be when, when you are, as you say, running a lot of units. Um, uh, you can still remote this through Workbench, mm -hmm. you just can't jump subnets. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think um, I think you're, you're right on the money with that. Yeah, this is going to go out into an awful lot of smaller installations or use cases where maybe ULXD had a you know, few, too, few features too many. Uh, mm. But this at a lower price, when you don't need Dante and you don't need multiple subnets, and considering how many units you can put on one subnet, that's you know most Still installations. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, you know, I, I just see it going gangbusters. Yeah, and look, I think even for live production, if if you were to to package it up nicely with an antenna splitter, um, this this is going to be great on stages as well, and it. it it brings that transmission quality mm. into a, a new price bracket where previously it wasn't available with the sort of channel density that's typically required. Yep, yeah, I think sure we're on a winner here. Uh, I think it's a sure thing. <laughs>